Okay, ready for an update here on running your plumbing lines. You can see from the Schedule 40, that little piece of Schedule 40 I put on here, I ran it to Aquascape 3 inch flex pipe. Ran it up here, and I buried it already, some of it. I had to set this boulder here, and so right underneath here, I put a Y on the three inch line, so I can now go to two two inch lines for my spillways. So these are the two two inch lines. I just brought it from the vault, wrapped it around here. And the only thing I'm trying to do here is to make sure that it'll drain when I disconnect the pump down there, that the water and the lines will drain out to the bottom so that when I disconnect it in the winter, it won't freeze and split the pipes, which usually isn't a problem. You don't have to be super picky because the elevation, you're building a waterfall, so the top part is higher than the bottom, so it siphons out. I try to not get any big bellies in water because it's gonna sit and freeze the pipe. We ran it over here, got two lines. I'm going to nestle these two spillways, one here and one here, because I have two of them. Here are my two lines. First, I need to backfill here and uh, prep a pad to put my spillways. It's the happy time when we plug in the waterfall. We uh, mounted off this bank, put in a couple boulders and some landscapes and a big uh, weeping Norway up on the top. We often put either a white pine or a Norway just up on the top. And um, I'll show you a waterfall. Pretty happy with it. You know, one, one of the things, I've been doing this for a while and I always wanna build my spillways as wide as I can, just because it's cool and stuff. But you know that the pump you have has like 8,000 gallons an hour. And so it's, you're always learning how wide you can build. And I think on this one, we overbid it just a little bit. I wish I would have made my spillways a little bit narrower because the water flow going over them is good, but it's not as good as it could be. What I'm saying is I'd like to put another pump in and give it double the flow. That's what I'm saying. This one turned out pretty neat. Initially, I had just, I, I think I told you that I just had these two of this one and it, I just wasn't very happy with it. And I added that rock right there. And when I did that, it creates a little pool and picks it over there. And I don't know, I know that's not much of a waterfall, but I just like what it does. It gives it more character and depth, I think. This, there's a little more depth for the height on it. It looks good. <laughs> DJ did a very nice job with this one on the spillway rocks. And I, I know you've heard me say it before, but I like when I can get water coming out of the side, a little bit like of a horseshoe curve shape. That looked, that turned out very nice. There again, like these two look good, but I wish I had a little more flow to them. And we have this one, just a little ripple pointed that way. This was one where we were like, we just don't want, because it's such a little waterfall, we don't want just the plain sheet falls. So we have a little bit more character going on here. Some, I don't know, there, this is a deep channel here and then there's some drippy stuff over there. It turned out pretty easy. Big pool here, probably five or six inches deep. We like big deep pooling areas. And uh, one of the things, like this one is really wide and so you end up with kind of a straight stream. I like to like a big wide pool up here and then I wish I would have necked this one down a little more narrow. It gives a little more of a twist to it. But 
Every feature has things that when you're done, you're like, yeah, if I would do it again, I would do this. This was the one DJ came up with. Here again, really cool idea with water coming sideways and up high and down low. It would be cool if we could also get water to spill out here as well as down here, but we're just a little short on water flow. We were building a lot of split falls because they wanted a really wide waterfall. And that's one of the things that tricked us into building wider than we could have. Because you're not, you're not this wide, you're actually this wide plus that wide on the spillway. So it can mess with your mind a little bit. Very nicely done um, spillway, sunken down, can't see it. Right there's where the water comes from. That's part of the magic. Just, it wells up out of the ground here. Don't see a big plastic box perched up there. So yeah, very happy with how it turned out. I like the rock that Deej is standing on right there. That's my my seating rock. He come sit right there. I say it often, but water features are about interaction. Build it so that you can get close to it. You can climb up on the rocks, places to sit, places to play in. Of course, we have lighting all over in this thing. It looks really nice at night. Turned out very nice. Let me know what you think. If there's something in particular that you guys would like to see, um, reach out in the comments and we'll try to do a video on it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.